Welcome to Victorian RV Sales. Today I'm going to take you for a quick walk through our 2023 Mica 21 foot 10 in a front door, front club, side east west bed inside the van. I'll go through inside how they set up this van with a east west bed, which is sort of like the um, east west bed with the slide out but doesn't slide out so i'll show you the functionality of it inside and how they how they have worked what we have got though starting off at the front we've got our 50 mil alco ball coupling with a semi recessed coupling so the recess how they have dropped the the draw bar or the tow bar down below the actual a-frame so it sits down in this recessed little area we have got our um trail safe our breakaway system so in the event that the van does come de uh, it does detach from your vehicle what that will do is lock your brakes up so you don't have the missile driving down the road we have got our two nine kilo gas bottles now down underneath here what you'll see if we have got a six inch mainframe and a six inch A-frame. So you can see there, your A-frame, which goes all the way through, which I'll just point it out here. That is your A-frame, which you can see it goes all the way through right to the back of the caravan. Then above that, we have got another six inch main frame, which is all the way through, but that's underneath the van. So you can see that it does go all the way through which gives it that little bit more ground clearance and a little bit more height the other thing you can see here is we don't have any wheel arches so with that mainframe going all the way through it takes out the the uh the wheel arches and it's what they call a flat floor so inside the van your cupboards are going to have a lot more space inside them um underneath there as well where we're just looking at what you will see is a gray Anderson plug or a blue Anderson plug. Now what that does is it allows you to be able to have your solar panels and you'd be able to chase the solar. So when you're in, in a, in a uh, place like Victoria, um, Southern Australia, what you will find is your solar is only gonna be as accurate, or is only gonna be as powerful through the, the day between probably 10, and say two o'clock so what that'll do is that, that morning sun that you do miss out on you can actually chase that sun um, that little bit in the morning and then that little bit at night so you'll be able to get a little bit more solar power through your van uh, we've got our drop down legs on the side here which allows you to level your caravan so rather than looking at doing a proper jacking it up and, and moving it it is a design, they are designed for just the leveling and leveling only we have got our 235 75 15 all-terrain tires down the back here what you will see is also we have got our water pressure so this is our water our mains pressure in what you do see here as well is a pressure relief valve now when you are away, that pressure relief valve just slows the pressure down going into your caravan. So you are getting um, the best pressure and the least amount of pressure in your van so your taps don't, uh, that they don't get destroyed from that, that pressure as it goes through. We have got decent storage in the back here, which this is a generator box. So it allows you to be able to put your generator down the back. Um, and beside that, that is our toilet cassette. Now I'll just open this up. So that's a Thetford toilet cassette. So when we go to pull that out, it's pretty much a simple matter of pulling that up, pull it out, which then allows that to, to come out. And then you've got a little wheeling case that you can take that to the dump points. Around the back, we have got a spare wheel on the back there, but we do have what they call a reverse monitor or rear view monitor. Now I call it a rear view monitor, not a reverse camera, because this thing is on when you are traveling down the road, this will be, um, you will be able to see what's going on behind you at any one point. That will consistently be on where you are traveling, 
um, so you can have sound coming through there as well. So it is a good feature to have. And we have got a three arm bumper on the rear as well for your, um, to be able to carry some more uh, things on the back. So you would be able to hold a bit of weight there. Down the side here, we have got external speakers. So you can see there the NCE external outdoor speakers. We have got our fridge, which is vented from the side here. So that's an access in behind the fridge. And just up on top there, that white little box there, that is actually your um, your vent for that fridge. So as it, um, so as it's ex the air's escape, escaping, it's actually going straight out through the roof so that there's no um, locking of or trapping of the hot air up in that roof cavity. We have got our outdoor picnic table. So the outdoor picnic table here. Um, also, we have got a uh, 240 volt power outlet. So your power comes out. We have got a USB and a SIG socket and a spot for your TV aerial. We have got a 18 foot awning there, a 17 foot awning by the looks of it. And we have got a cradle in the middle. Inside the van, we can see there, nice big double step, as I as I said before, with these, they are a flat floor, so they are a little bit higher um, on the on the van. So there is a little bit more um, height required. Going inside here, nice sleek finish, all your cupboards. Now with these cupboards also, we're just gonna lift these up here. We can see there we've got our Smart Link, our Odyssey. BM Pro Smart Link, so we can actually connect our phone to that, and that will allow us to be able to see our batteries and, and remotely check what our van is doing. That is powered with our Battery Plus 35, which is our BM Pro, um, the Battery Plus 35 2, which is the HA, so that has got a bit built in MPPT solar controller. These vans here does come standard with, and I'm just going to show you here. Um, this is the uh, the instantaneous hot water service, and we have got switches here for our fridge, our elect uh, our AC. Um, but the brains to the van is sitting there. We have got our Trek controller just back here on the side, which I'll show you. So this is our BM Pro Trek Three, which is. Um, what we are looking at here, so we've got our button here which turns your battery power on and off. We can see there we've got our water tanks, so there's two water tanks under here, two 95 litre water tanks. And if you have a grey water tank, that will show up down here in, the ta in tank four. Now with that, they've got your water pumps which you press on and off. So just by simple pressing that button, that will turn your water tanks on and off. Um, also, it shows us the, the time, shows us the 8.2 amps in the battery, 13 volts, and then you've got your solar input. Now, what I was talking about before about the external solar, we've got 1.8 amps into this van at the moment. Now, that is with solar and solar only. So, we have got a bit of a cloudy day down here in Victoria, so you're not going to see huge amounts. It's just gone up to 2.1 but you're not gonna see huge amounts. But if you had that other solar panel chasing that sun, you might be able to pick up another couple. Now, the further north you go, the closer to the sun you are, the, the more the, you're gonna catch that sun, it's gonna be a lot better for you. So, um, all right, so going through inside the van, having a bit of a look around. We have got our different style of fridge here, which is our Thetford fridge. So you can see there the Thetford fridge, which is actually now the top, and then it's got down the bottom, the chest or the, the chest drawer uh, freezer compartment as well. So nice new design that they've done with the, the Thetford fridge. We have got our microwave up the top. Now, talking about that layout that I was saying, it's like having the, the slide out, but not actually having a slide out. The east-west bed here, which I'll just come around so you can actually see a little bit more of it. 
So nice finish. Now that's a six foot two by five foot mattress. And plenty of storage beside the bed. So you can see down there, you still do have everything you would need. So you've got a USB on the side and you've got a double power point. And then you've got same on this side. You've got the same double power point and a USB socket as well. Uh, so USB point as well. NCE speakers inside. So you've got the speakers playing inside. Now in the rear of the van here. So this is the ensuite. We have got a Thetford toilet. So that is a porcelain bowl. So it has got the porcelain toilet. We have got um, nice nice big seat so it's actually really really comfy and that seat does swivel so you can actually swivel the seat around to be able to make it that little bit more comfortable for you in here we have got our washing machine so three kilo washing machine now with these that little basket there is in there for a reason. So when you are traveling, you will have that in there. So you have that in there. So what it does do is actually holds that bowl in place. So it's not rattling around and, and breaking as, it, as you travel. Nice porcelain uh, round bowl, which is a nice finish. You have got a light switch in here for the toilet light so you can find your way at night. Nice big shower. Fans up in the shower. So really, really good layout. But the layout, the part that I do like is the big club lounge at the front. You can see there that drops down. So it has got the Napa table. What that does is allows that table to be able to drop down. So you can turn that one big area into a bed. Also, what it does do entertaining wise, when you do have your friends over and you are away somewhere, you can actually show them how you, you can sit around there, play cards, have a few beers, have a few drinks, and uh, they're not walking into your bed as uh, into your bedroom. The other thing about the mica, which I really do like, is the depth of the cupboards and how they do them. So you've got the really big, nice double hinged um, locks, so that locks it in place. You've got the nice cutlery drawer in the middle that sits by itself, and then that locks in there nicely. Also, down under here, so they do have filtered water as a standard with this van, so you do have filtered water also. So, pretty much this van is for the person that is looking to go away and live in their van for six to 12 months and be able to do it very, very comfortable. This van is very, very well equipped and ready for immediate delivery. Thanks and check out www.vicrvsales.com.au